Hello everybody, I'm back again. Long time no see. I've just been dealing with college and all that. So today I'm going to finally open up what I got on for the Black Friday deals on legoshop.com. And that being said, let's get into seeing what I got. All right, so here's the box for everything. I'm just going to begin opening it up. So, finally open it up. Oh, there's just a level. Let me knock that down. All right, so yeah, I'll start off going through what I got in the box. Basically, for these deals, I basically went towards more of the direction of sets that I kind of partially wanted, but not, you know, to the extent that I was like, oh, let me get them right away. So, like, this is a great chance to get them right now while they're on sale. I also got some sets such as. Well, you'll see, but I got some sets in certain areas that you probably wouldn't expect, but that's because I have a small collection. That's just something I collect off to the side. So with that being said, let me slowly go through one by one what I got. And yeah, let's just start that way. All right, so starting off, so I'll start with the promo. So I got this. Honestly, I don't know if I'll keep it or I'll sell it. It's just something small. Um... And yeah, in the future, it will be good if I have a little winter village. But yeah, I don't know if I'll sell it or not. But there's also something else I got, which I'll grab next, which kind of, you know, makes me want to keep it just for that certain reason. So with that being said, the next thing I got was, let's see if I can find it in here. All right, here it is. So I had to pick one of these up, Santa Slay. It's just something I really wanted. I thought it was pretty cool and unique. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to get more reindeer in the future, but that's not a big deal to me. Um, it's just a great set and overall, yeah, I'll have a lot of basically stuff I can do with it or put it in certain places such as a future winter village, which makes me kind of want to keep the other gift of purchase. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't pass that deal up. Now on to the next one. Um, let me just start off by, uh, with, uh, Something boring, basically something I'm just trying to clear out their inventory for, and I have no idea how big my army is of them at this point, but I got three of the Rebel Hoth Defense. These things have been sitting on discount for a very long time. Somehow there's still enough inventory, but with that being said, I decided to get three. I just really like, well, I like Hoth Troopers, but I also like, um, all the guns and blasters that come within the sets you can basically part it out and get about let me see here six six blasters so that's pretty cool so that's why i usually go after them now um but yeah that was something boring now something no one probably was expecting this is when i mentioned that it was you know like a sub theme that i just randomly collect off the side i had to pick up two ninjago sets which are um Crap, I can't remember if this is Nia or Jay. Yeah, Nia threw me off because the water. I'm just used to her being in the mech suit. But yeah, I got Nia because she was on discount. I think maybe for like eight bucks or something like that. So I can pass that up. And then I got um, Kai here with his. And yeah, mainly got them for the figs. And yeah, glad to extend that little collection I have off to the side. I don't really collect any of the actual sets. I just really collect the minifigs because the sets would just take up a lot more space that I do not have. Although there's a lot of cool sets in general from Ninjago. Now, going on to the next thing. Uh, I don't know which to grab out next, but I'm just going to grab this one out. Now, am I going to actually build this? Probably not. I'm just going to part it out because there's no way I'm going to let this thing sit on the shelf and take up more space from another set that actually was a lot better of a build. So I'll just be parting this out. I mean, it's good parts to have, uh, but I mainly got it for the face, mainly for Ned B. It's probably the big one I got it for. these, And then, yeah, I kind of like the other figures. Darth Vader, I think it was a little different, if I can recall, just from the face underneath, which is why I decided to get it on discount. But yeah, I decided I just might as well go for it now before it's gone. Because it could end up being one of those that's just 
very high up for some reason in the aftermarket when it retires. Now on to the next set. Once again, this is going to be another one I'm most likely just going to part out and just add to the piece collection. But I really kind of want the unique Yoda. Never going to see him again, most likely. And then these two unique figures. Never watched the show, but yeah, I know it's related to kids. But yeah, I'll just be using these for parts mainly and add it to the collection that way. So, and yeah, I just couldn't pass it up for a discount. But yeah, original price. Heck no, I am not going to buy that original price. Now on to the last thing. This is one also I was always just like, you know, should I get it? Should I not? But when I saw it when it was like $20, $30 off, I had to get it. Um, with that being said, the build's nice, but yeah, definitely is not something I would pay original price for. And yep, it was the ambush on Ferrix, as you can see. So with this one, I, uh, yeah, kind of like the figures, but they're not really my main importance. I actually do like the build, so this is something I will build in the future. And yeah, it's just, I was not going to pay full retail for this set. There's no way I was. Um, but yeah, pretty much that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Um, thank you for watching. And with that being said, have a good one and see you in the near future. Bye.